Okay, let's go check out Napoli. Guys, Napoli is crazy. We love it here. And from what we read online, it's one of those cities that you either love or hate. And it feels like this is the first time that we've been, we're being super stimulated by Italy, right? Yeah, it's also known for being pretty chaotic. And right now we're in the old like Spanish quarters. And it's definitely chaotic. It's like a maze of different alleyways and a ton of like graffiti and rough looking buildings, but but everyone's like out soul. there, That's yeah, That's it really has cool. so much soul. Everyone's out there just like talking and yelling and everyone's so nice. Also in their local dialect, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can tell that we love it. So we don't know a ton about modern Italian history, but we do know that the country of Italy was kind of formed pretty late in history. So Napoli and this area was independent until like 1860, and they really developed their own culture. And I think it's also one of the oldest settlements in the world. So it had like Greek influences, and I think also Moorish. You can really tell that it's like, it has its own culture and feel. And they're very proud of being from Napoli. So our host on the first day, we asked him if he was from Napoli. He's like, yes, I am. He's like, but my wife, She's from Milan, and I think they have a very big rivalry with Milan and Napoli. So that's pretty cool to see. But I feel very lucky to be here. This place is awesome, has a cool energy. We love this city, it's really cool. Napoli. So one thing that we're noticing here is that there is food everywhere and it kind of reminds us of Bologna and actually we've been asking a few Italians like what are the most iconic kind of like food cities in Italy yeah. and either they say Bologna or, or Napoli. Napoli. <laughs> so we have a task. <laughs> we have to eat more while we're here. I'm going to show you a lot of food in this video because I mean the city deserves... Ah and it's worth mentioning now Napoli is the birthplace of the margarita pizza. So we're gonna have some pizza. You know what that means. Diego, 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 Diego. Oh, mama, 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 oh, mama, 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 mama. Sai perché mi batte corazzo? Ho visto Maradona, ho visto Maradona. Hey, mama, innamorato so. Maradona. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I loved it. 
So we haven't mentioned this yet, but Diego Maradona is a literal god here in Napoli. He played for the local team. He's a legend. That's why they have a literal song about him. I had no idea, but it's a good song. I liked it. Obviously, we can't make a video about Napoli without showing Margarita pizza. And it's pretty overwhelming to pick or to eat it because there are so many pizza places and I think they're all amazing. And actually, yesterday we tried it at the place where it was invented. We'll show you that in another video. I feel so lucky that we are in the birthplace of Pizza Margarita. This is my favorite pizza. This is what I always order. And there's going to be a lot of this in the next week because we are spending a week here in Napoli. So. After two days of rain, the sun is finally out and today we're going to show you a different part of the city. So right now we are in Spacanapoli, which is one of the most historic streets here in Napoli. And this, this area is where you're going to find a lot of uh, the most historic sites here, like churches and palazzos. And it's Saturday morning, everyone is out and about. And this area actually has like a very similar vibe than the Spanish quarters. It's just that there seems to be a lot more shopping and somehow is even busier. There's spikes everywhere. But the reason why we're here is, well, to show you around, but also because we read that there's two types of pizza here in Napoli that we have never heard of, we have never tried. So naturally. So this is pizza al portafoglio and we have never heard of it before and it translates to wallet pizza. So it's basically a regular pizza, margarita, but the dough is a little bit thinner and softer and they put a little bit less of tomato sauce, mozzarella, basil, and then they fold it into four pieces. And it's meant to be like a to-go pizza, just like a lighter version, just a quick bite. And you literally see everyone on the streets walking with one of these. So obviously we have to go for it. amazing obviously <laughs> so it actually tastes like a folded margarita pizza and i realized that i didn't really explain the flavors of margarita it's just that it's pizza so what makes pizza so special here in napoli is that they use the freshest ingredients so the dough is incredible they use only pressed san marzano tomatoes from the area fresh mozzarella fresh basil and you get well this but also the other one it's just brilliant. It's just amazing and it will ruin pizza for you forever because whatever you eat outside of here, it's not really pizza. This fried beauty is another Napoli favorite. As if pizza wasn't good enough, they decided let's just throw it in the fryer and see what happens. It's like piping hot. We saw them make it fresh. I'm just excited to dig in before it gets cold. I don't want to burn myself either. Oh, yeah. oh, it's so good. I don't think I got all the way to the love yet. But what I ordered is with like a ricotta cheese, I think bacon, mm, olive oil, those kind of things. And Aymara told me this morning the history of the fried pizza. I think it's from like after World War II, when a lot of things were destroyed and it was difficult to get ingredients. So they used like the leftover from mozzarella, which is a ricotta, and the leftover from my pork products, which is, I guess in this case, bacon. Fried it up. Oh, it's really mm. And the ovens were destroyed, apparently. So frying was the easiest way to cook. I mean, it's fried pizza. Like, how, how amazing. Pizza frita.
One crazy thing about Napoli is that the city is basically covered in graffiti and somehow it works. Just look behind me, like it just adds to the vibe of the city in the best possible way. And it gives it a unique character, I guess. Now it is time for one of my favorite activities to do while traveling. It is time for me to get a haircut. I've gotten a haircut all over the world, and now it's time to see how the Italians cut my hair. I've been hiding it with hats and sunglasses <laughs> for weeks now. This is before. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I always get a little anxious with haircuts, but I think my guy nailed it. Also got a free espresso. Burnt my tongue. <laughs> because they were like waiting for me. I was just sipping. I was like, I gotta hurry up. But I think they did a great job. Look at you go. Feeling pretty good. Pretty good. Also, if it seems very quiet in Napoli right now, it is because there's a soccer match on. So we gotta find a spot with a TV. so we can't find many places that are showing the game obviously everyone is watching because they're obsessed with soccer but it turns out that they're probably watching at home but we kind of followed our instincts and we found this place, which is like a shrine to Maradona and Napoli soccer. It's pretty interesting. They love Maradona, honestly, I think as much as God, which sounds weird to say, but it's true. I think because he's from like a very poor neighborhood in uh, Buenos Aires in Argentina, and it kind of like embodies the same spirit as the people here in Napoli. So that's why they love him so much. And he won a championship with them. They also became champion champions of Italy, I think last year. If you want to see something crazy, go to YouTube and search like Napoli Italian championships. The people are partying like freaking insane people. It's really cool. But anyway, we probably won't watch the soccer game, but we will go for a drink. Might as well. Plan B. <laughs> Not too bad. I love it here. <laughs> This city is amazing. We fell in love with Napoli and I'm so happy that we did. There's obviously a lot of other things to do and we're gonna put all of that in a PDF that's gonna be linked in the description. But for this video, we just wanted to show you like the soul of Napoli, you know, like how it feels to be here. And I hope we did a good job with that because I don't know, we, we just really connected so well with it. Like Napoli has had a really bad reputation in the past and we're happy to discover that it's not like that anymore. People here are happy and joyful and welcoming and they touch you and they hug you and there's music everywhere and everyone is just so full of life and we really loved it here. And yep, we're going to see you guys in Puglia in the next video. And if you want to check out another awesome Italian city, I'm going to leave that video here. So check that video next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.